Don Quixote is a past space probe concept that has been studied by the European Space Agency, and which would investigate the effects of crashing a spacecraft into an asteroid. The mission was intended to test whether a spacecraft could successfully deflect an asteroid on a collision course with Earth. The orbiter was designed to last for seven years. The mission did not proceed beyond initial studies. Currently, ESA is working on asteroid impact and deflection assessment mission as a part of its NEO space mission studies. Topic <inaudible> overview: The mission would have consisted of two spacecraft that would execute a series of maneuvers around a small 500 meter (1,600 foot) asteroid. The first spacecraft, Sancho, was intended to arrive at the asteroid and orbit it for several months, studying it. The orbiter would have used a single xenon ion engine. After a few months, the second spacecraft, Hidalgo, would have hurtled toward the asteroid on a collision course. Having slept for most of the trip, it would have then steered itself using optical sensors with an accuracy of 50 meters. Sancho would have retreated to a safe distance while Hidalgo hit the asteroid at around 10 km per second. Sancho would have then returned to its close orbit and observed how much the asteroid's shape, internal structure, orbit and rotation might have been affected by the impact. Sancho would then release the autonomous surface package, a lander which would then free fall toward the asteroid for two hours before landing. This package would have been directed towards the interior of the impact crater where it would investigate properties of the surface. Don Quixote was one of six near Earth object precursor studies funded by ESA's General Studies Program, other missions being EUNEOS, European NEO Survey, EarthGuard I, NERO, NEO Remote Observations, Simone, Small Sat Intercept Missions to Objects Near Earth, and Ishtar, Internal Structure High Resolution Tomography by Asteroid Rendezvous. Topic: Propulsion. The craft would have been launched by a Vega launcher and a Star 48 upper stage. The ESA considered two design options: the cheap option, using a chemical propulsion system, and the flexible option, using an electric propulsion system. The former would have been targeted to the AMA asteroid 2003 SM84, the latter to the asteroid 99942 Apophis. Topic: Instrumentation. Topic: Sancho orbiter. The instruments on the orbiter were classified into those essential to the success of the mission and those for the completion of extended mission objectives. The primary instruments were the radio science experiment, orbiter camera, imaging laser altimeter, and a lidar instrument. For the extended mission objectives, the orbiter would have carried an IR spectrometer, a thermal IR imager, an X-ray spectrometer, a radiation monitor and the autonomous surface package ASP. Topic: Hidalgo Impactor. Unlike many other spacecraft, the goal of the Hidalgo Impactor was to be as massive as possible upon reaching the target asteroid. Because of this goal, the propulsion module would not have been jettisoned after use. The Impactor was to carry few subsystems to make it as low cost and maneuverable as possible. It would have had no moving appendages solar panels, etc., to complicate orientation, using only its RCS thrusters for course corrections, and it was to have a high-resolution targeting camera for approximately 50 m targeting accuracy on impact. The LISA Pathfinder design was considered an initial design reference. <laughs> Target. Originally, the ESA identified two near-Earth asteroids as possible targets, 2002 AT4 and 10302 ML. Neither asteroid represents a threat to Earth. 
In a subsequent study, two different possibilities were selected, the AMA asteroid 2003 SM84 and 99942 Apophis, the latter is of particular significance to Earth as it will make a close approach in 2029 and 2036. In 2005, the proposed mission was combined with AIDA, with the target selected as a binary asteroid, so that the effect of the deflection would be seen even from Earth by observing the period of the binary. The targets were 2002 AT4 and 10302 1989 ML. The current target for AIDA is the binary asteroid 65803 Didymos. Topic: <laughs> Names. The mission was named after the fictional Spanish knight from Miguel de Cervantes' renowned novel, Don Quixote, who charged against a windmill, thinking it to be a giant. Like Quixote, the Hidalgo spacecraft was to attack an object much larger than itself, hopeful making impressive results. Sancho was named after Sancho Panza, the Quixote's squire, who preferred to stay back and watch from a safe distance, which was the role assigned to that probe. Finally, the name Hidalgo was a minor Spanish title roughly equivalent to a baronet, now obsolete. In the novel, it was the title Alonso Quijano had even before becoming Don Quijote. See also List of asteroids visited by spacecraft Spacecraft AIDA, proposed asteroid impact probe, successor to Don Quijote Deep Impact, completed NASA Comet Impactor Mission 2005. Hayabusa 2 en route JAXA probe carrying an impactor SMART-1 completed ESA Lunar Impact Probe 2006.